Hello, I'm Israel Malavet with My Florida Regional MLS. Today, we're going to be showing you in a quick video how to search for a subdivision in real estate and create mail labels for those listings you find via that subdivision. Once you click on the real list tab across the top, it will load up a real list product as you see it here in front of you. I'm going to move down to the subdivision field and I'm going to click on select from list. Now when you open it up, this window here does not display any subdivisions initially. Uh, what you need to do is you need to click at the top search area and then begin to type in your subdivision name. You don't need to completely type out your subdivision name. So if you, if you only know just a few letters or a, a piece of the name for the subdivision name, you can just type that into the top and then click on search. It is going to find for you all of the various subdivisions that begin or start with whatever it is you put into that space. In my case, I put in F-O-U-N, so it finds me all the subdivisions that have fountain or some of form or shape of that word in the name. I am going to select my subdivisions, and I'm going to add them to the selected side. Once I click apply, those subdivision names are here in my list. Then I need to click on search. When I click on search, it goes through and finds all of the listing results for that area for me and provides them here as listing results. Automatically, it will select all of the properties for you and highlight the create labels tab. I am going to click on that tab. And it's going to open up this window for me where it allows me to choose the label type. I can choose one of the following three. Now, Avery 5160 is probably the most commonly used one, so that's the one I am going to choose. I'm going to click on Show Current Owner, Include Foreign Labels Should the Owner Not Reside at the Property, and Eliminate Duplicate Labels Should That One Owner Own Multiple Properties. At this point, all I need to do is click on Create. When I do so, it is going to open up a window for me that's going to allow me to view my labels. Once I click to open to view my labels, you'll see that these are all of my labels in perfect order. It has my owner's name and address on there and allows me to go through and print my labels. Once you have printed your labels or have selected to print your labels, you want to make sure that your print uh, paper for the, the proper labels are in your printer, so that way your labels are printing out where they need to be. I'm Israel Malavet. Thank you for watching.